Remember when you were a little kid and your mama or daddy used to tell you, girl, go sit down and be still. Or boy, go sit down and be still. Sometimes that's what God does to us. Sometimes we can want something so bad and we can be praying for it and asking God for it and trying to make the moves toward it and, and trying to do this or that or God, I'm going to go ahead and do this or God, I think I'm going to go down this avenue or I think I'm going to do this or I think I'm going to do this and this will fix that. Sometimes God is like, you're doing all of that and all I want you to do is go sit down and be still. I just want you to go sit down and be still and be calm and understand and trust me that I have it. In Psalms 46, 10, it says to be still and know that I am God. For me this week, that has been in my spirit. Amanda, be still. That's what God's been telling me. Be still and know that I got you. So out there, I wanted to tell you today to be still and know that God got you. And in your stillness, you understand that everything is being worked out for your good. And understand that God is an omnipresent God, meaning that he's everywhere and he sees everything at all times. He's an omnipotent God, meaning that he's all powerful and can do things abundantly and exceedingly just for you. He's an omniscient God, meaning that he's all knowing, meaning that he knows everything, your past, present, and your future. So if you just be still, and know who your God is, then you will know that in your quiet time, in your calmness, in your stillness, in your ability to let him have it and be still and trust him, he's working it out for you better than you could do on your own, better than the tools that you try to build with and better than the things that you try to create on your own. So it's a quick message today to tell you, be still. Because when you become still and understand who your God is and know who he is, the worry goes, the doubt goes, all of it goes away because you understand that in my stillness, he is working it out for me because my God is a big God and he's going to do far more for me than I could ever do for myself. I hope you were blessed by this message. I will see you next week. I decree and declare abundance and favor over your life. And remember, be still and know who your God is. Be blessed.